yes, come into effect on the 13th of January. <laughs> Hmm, let's throw in some dramatic B roll. in Germany in the Audi A5. It's a four door, it's a two litre, it's got 150 brake horsepower. It is not to 60, around 8.6, 8.7 seconds. Is it fast? It depends on what you compare it with. If you compare it with my BMW, which has got 380 brake horsepower, then no, it's not. Will it do the job for everyone that is kind of looking for an everyday car that's not specifically into the speed? then yes, it's powerful enough. You can get, get off the, the line, line quickly. quickly. It's safe to be able to pull out of a junction quickly should you need to. And if you need the power, you do have a little bit there to play with. The three liter is probably the way I would go. I would want a little bit more power to be able to enjoy it a little bit more. I've had this car for a couple of days and no, Audi haven't actually sent me out here to test drive the Audi nor did they pay for my tickets or flights to come out here. Would have been great, but I'm not big enough just yet. The car is in our car park. You have to go upstairs behind you. Okay. Then go straight on and take the first exit on the left. Out the A5. Awesome. With the ticket you get out. So have I enjoyed driving the car? Yes, I have. I've enjoyed the space. Inside this interior is pretty spacious. And not only that, you've got so much technical electronics here, so many gadgets to play with. The car lights up during the night. It looks spot on. I'm really impressed with it, actually. So the cockpit is comfortable. You get four, four doors, so it's very convenient for other people to get in as well. Now, you might be thinking, why Germany? Well, Germany has the Autobahn, which means you can go as fast as you like. Have I already done that? <laughs> of course I have. 230 kilometers. So 230 kilometers an hour, what did it feel like? Uh, it was stable, it was good enough. I was happy with it. I actually managed to drive this car whilst it was snowing and I didn't really enjoy it. It's not a four x four, it's not something you want to really be driving in the snow, but it handled, no problem at all. During the winter season, Germany's very strict with their laws when it comes to tires. So now, the one thing I'm not too impressed about is the handling in this car. It's a two litre, it's kind of a sportish car. It just got too much body roll. I mean, again, I'm probably comparing it to my BMW here, but it just, I felt very uneasy at high speed going around a corner. So I think that the three litre would probably handle better. And I think the suspension, if you go for a, 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 an S line package, is probably going to get some better suspension. This car does tally up from 36,000 plus. So there are many options that you can actually throw on top of that and of course the S-Line package would probably be worth it should you be a sporty enthusiastic driver like me. I need to tell you more about the car inside, the space, how I feel driving it and it is you know 10 out of 10 there. I'm pretty happy with it. You've got this cool LED screen in front of you and this big LED screen on the right hand side in the middle you do feel like everything is kind of pointing towards you, which is really, really good and really key. And at night, everything lights up, which is pretty nice as well. It's got driver assist, which actually works quite well. You've got different sports modes, so different driving modes here. We've got efficiency, which of course is not something I would use. We've got comfort mode, which I suppose if I was a chauffeur, 
or if I cared about the people in the back I might use. We've got automatic which is pretty good during the season when it's been snowing. So this kind of season where you don't really want to be in sport mode or you're going to be driving fast but then you might be driving slower at some times then automatic works quite well. You've got dynamic which is pretty much what I was in most of the time and we've got individual. Don't worry for you guys that are more into the motorbikes and less into the cars I have gone to a motorbike museum. That's for you guys of interest in motorbike still not to unsubscribe. Now by the way we've reached 300 subscribers! Yeah, not many, but we're working on it. Hopefully, sooner or later, we'll be getting to a thousand. That's my target for this year. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet and you just came to visit my channel, then please make sure you subscribe. And if you're wondering why the hell I look like this, it's because I'm an anonymous vlogger. So make sure you give me a thumbs up in this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's only the two things I ask whilst you guys have watched this video. Well, only push it if you really liked it though. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon with a gimbal. A gimbal for you guys to win. So hopefully I can get to a thousand subscribers quickly to do my first giveaway. Now it's not going to take long really, but I need you to help me out. Please share this video or any of my videos or my channel in general. Let's give it the beans. Woo -hoo! Yeah, it's not that great. But you get to 130 kilometers pretty quickly. Oh, to 70. Here we go. Come on. Oh, it just needs that bit more performance. It's just... A two liter is too slow, really. I mean, if you're like me and you like putting your foot down, it's, it's not going to put a smile on your face. Although this does look like a smile, it's not. Right, so fuel economy is pretty amazing actually. I actually just spent 46 euros for a full tank. 46 euros. I mean, bearing in mind, I got the, pet, the diesel at one euro 12. One euro 12 is pretty cheap. Here we go for the body roll again. Oh, look at it, it just, oh, it's awful. Don't like it. No. Oh, just horrible. I mean, I might be over exaggerating here a little bit. And you have to bear in mind that I'm used to my 650 at home. Now, having a 4.8 and then going down to a 2 litre diesel with no sports pack is a big difference. So, overall, I would recommend the car. I would recommend to people that are looking for a nice smart car, it's got four doors, something that's comfortable, luxurious, it does have power to be able to get out of scenarios should you need to. But if you're a motor enthusiast like most of the subscribers I have on my channel, then it's probably not for you. I'd probably recommend going for the 3 litre or even the S5 or even better the RS5. Now here we go racing on the Autobahn, a Ford Mondeo, foot to the floor, still struggling to overtake at 120. He looked at me strange, might be because of the mask. All right guys, so we're gonna end the video here. I hope you've enjoyed it, and make sure you click that subscribe button. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video, coming soon. What's the next video about?